you probably had a look at this 12-point plan. Any, anything stand out to you? Yes, indeed. Well, some of it was flagged previously, and I would say it's less of a plan and more of a position paper, if you like. That's the term uh, that China itself is using to refer to this. Uh, we have these calls to end Cold War mentality, to respect sovereignty, um, to protect nuclear power plants, too. So not entirely surprising, but, of course, it lacks this very, very specific call, which is the removal of Russian troops from Ukraine. And that is the item that is the, the red line for many in Europe. Um, and, of course, it is sort of converse and, and in contrast to this UN proposal that we had 141 countries voting in favor of that proposal, which did include the removal of Russian troops from UK, Ukraine territory. Uh, China and India are both abstaining from that vote. How do you think the West is looking at, you know, something like this, this position paper, the like, this, this, this you know, reported trip to, to Moscow? Is this something that can appease a, a lot of China's European trading partners at a time that are really kind of questioning where their stance is on Moscow? Yes, indeed. I think that's right, um, Yvonne. There's a lot of that skepticism among European capitals and, of course, in the U.S. And I think, frankly, um, the position paper is is going to sort of lack credibility with many in Europe who are still deeply uncomfortable about Xi Jinping's cozy ties with Vladimir Putin, one year on from that declared no-limit friendship, too. Um, you know, the German foreign minister put it very clearly. She says, we have a peace proposal. It is here in front of us. It is the United Nations proposal. So, you know, many in Europe feel that they have made their stance very clear on this.